Black mental health matters. And I know, because had I not gotten the right care from the right people, I wouldn't be here right now. I'm Alex, and after I explain my story, I'll share one thing you can do right now to address your own mental health. So if you follow me for a while, you know that I've taken some extended breaks from TikTok. It was just too much. Have you seen what happens on this app? I was being bombarded with the social capitalism, the racism, the harassment, and at least one stalker. And on top of all that, I had stuff going on in my own personal life. So I decided to step away from this platform, my job, and some other distractions to really focus on me. I had gone to treatment before, inpatient and outpatient. I had been in therapy for years, multiple kinds of medication, but I knew that at this particular moment, I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired. And luckily I found the right combination of therapist, treatment and community that worked for me. And now I feel more centered, more grounded. I have an amazing support system. And I also realized how few of us are blessed enough to have the resources and the access to get the care that we really need, especially in marginalized communities. So I wanted to do two things, take my skills as a journalist to kind of find out why that is and what can be done about it, and also share my experience with you so that you can get some experience, strength, and hope, hopefully. Jackson, chill out. And that brings us to why I'm talking to you right now. I have a podcast that digs into all of these issues in a lot of detail with a lot of information and some really moving interviews with folks who have gone through what I've gone through and practitioners in the field and the author of a book that literally changed my life. You can find the link in that in the bio. I know mental health is a hard thing to deal with. It's scary even. And I want to help make it a little easier for you as I go through my own journey. And one of the things you can do today, right now, is be present. Not worrying about what happened in the past or stressed about what may happen in the future. But being in the moment and the only one that is promised to you. The now. There are a lot of different ways that you can focus on the here and now and using grounding techniques. And we're going to dig into some of those as we go along. And I'm not saying that it'll be easy. But I'm saying it'll be worth it.